homemade hard apple cider for zero dollars. There's a there's a big asterisk, a big asterisk on the zero dollars. Um, a lot of the the zero dollar parts are things that I personally already own. You might not already own them. Um, and you know, nothing is really is really free. Uh, and if it was, it would probably anger the Apple gods. Um, but I'm gonna go over the materials that I use and the, uh, the steps in the process that I followed. That's kind of a mishmash of a bunch of recipes because you look online, how do you make hard apple cider homemade? And then the first video is like homemade apple cider. They've got an apple press. They've got a warehouse. They've got like uh, machines and stuff that they just throw an apple in and it pops out a bottle of apple cider. I don't have any access to any of that. I got a, uh, I got water. The the thing I do have, the thing I do have is there's an apple tree in the backyard. So every single apple that was used for this recipe was free to myself, <laughs> um, which I can't say the same. For other people. Hello. I wanted to just interrupt things real quick and introduce you to the apple tree. We're here in the in the backyard. And and there she is. It's pretty big. See there's a ton of rotten apples on the ground. It's kind of gross and they actually smell pretty bad too. This one. Yeah, so see they're pretty small, um, but uh, yeah, we can climb up here. Someone's been using my ladder to eat apples on. Climb up here. Yeah. Um, a lot of the bigger, better, better apples are, are higher up in the tree. And so I was getting up pretty high on the ladder, which isn't super smart. Cause it's like, you know, pretty wobbly. I've just got it in like dirt. <laughs> so here's what we got going down here. Um, I use just the, so the first quote unquote free uh, materials that you're going to use is you're going to need these these gallon jugs. A lot of people they use demi johns and, and equipment that's actually designed for cider making and um, brewing things. I don't have any of that, like I said. So I had some orange juice. <laughs> it's bubbling right now. Yeah, maybe you can even hear it. Uh, the good thing about doing this as cheaply as you possibly can is if it if it doesn't turn out like it's it's terrible and it's inedible you have spent maybe zero dollars if you spend a lot of money doing it and it turns out horribly that's that's a bummer um, if you do this do a better job of sanitizing things like I don't really sanitize the funnel as much I should the tubes I cleaned they've been they've been thoroughly cleaned but I didn't like use cleaner on them I don't know uh, we're, we're doing what we can for zero dollars folks zero dollars it's it's kind of it's pretty gross and actually the first batch had a kind of a foul smell it tasted all right the apples we have this it's it's uh, July uh, normally you pick apples in the fall the apples we have are pretty sour they're little green apples they're usually they're mostly pretty small um, don't know why they're ready now maybe they're not <laughs> they are but it's kind of weird um, that's the other thing about using what you have. Just this like struggling apple tree in the backyard that's like someone someone trim me, help me. Um, but yeah, so you add sugar when you add the juice. You shake it up, at least I did. You put your air filter on. And then you wait from between one and four weeks. And a lot of people say that if you let it go too long, you lose the apple profile. Um, the, the kind of apple nice flavor and it starts to just taste like alcohol. I, I could theoretically pour all the cider into this and cap it. Um, I don't know that if there's... People seem to like storing certain beverages in certain containers 
Um, they usually don't put cider in gallon plastic jugs. Um, apparently, the best thing is a wooden barrel. I don't have that. I don't know how much a wooden barrel costs, but it certainly isn't zero dollars, folks. All right, so I'm about to move the cider from this container into this bowl. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of straining, I'm gonna try to. And then from this bowl, we're gonna try and then siphon the cider into the flip top bottles. You wanna try and like get the, the end of the tube. Here's my, my tubing. Um, and if you don't have tubing, like I said, I'm not really sure. You're probably gonna have to get some kind of tubing, some some to siphon with. Um, there's not a lot of household stuff you can makeshift use. You can use a garden hose, I wouldn't recommend that. Doesn't sound clean or like a good idea at all. <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm not gonna try and do this with one hand, so I'm gonna put the camera up here. Yeah. Yeah, how was that? Happy with that. All right. So, um, yeah, it was blood, uh, there, there are two possible reasons that that happened. Um, one is, is sanitation, that's really unlikely, I mean, like I didn't use the proper thing, but I didn't just, um, the other is, like I said, nothing has zero cost. Um, I'm gonna try something. Uh, I did some research. I think it's salvageable. Uh, if not that batch, at least the second one. Um, I doubt this will happen to you making this, but it's possible, yeah, I don't know. Um, Uh, I'll, I'll update you. Okay, so I did some research about it, about um, this particular type of apple tree. Because, you know, there's so many different types and different apples. Um, and I found some stuff that I think would be helpful. So I'm going to try this out and see if this fixes the problem. We'll see. I think that probably, that probably did the trick. Um, I'm gonna go check in on that apple cider. Hello. All right, we're back. And uh, I, I did go ahead and um, bottle what, what little I had. Um, it was awfully unpleasant to do. 
But you know, uh, the the colors, the colors a little better. Let's see, maybe I'll hold it up to the. Yeah, I mean that's. I think, I think that's definitely better. It's hard to it's hard to tell. Um, I'm gonna. <clears throat> it's kind of a big glass. Um, It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, I'm holding out hope for the next batch. Because uh, this is... Uh, I don't know. I don't really know what to do with it. Um, I don't like wasting anything, so I'll come up with something for it. But, um... I, I, have, a, I have a good feeling about the next one. Um, so we're going to leave it at that for now. Uh, when I... Do the next one i'll let you know hey so we are back again it is a, a couple days since i last updated y'all um and i've decided that today this evening i'm gonna siphon off the second batch and see how it is um because one thing i don't want to let it go too long and get too set too dry um because you know, they say, like, you know, I said like one to four weeks and here I am doing it a few days after one week. But I just, you know, I worry, you know, after the last batch and other stuff, I just want to make sure it's sweet enough. So we're going to try that. Oh, and I, um, I worked some on the last batch and it's actually a lot better. It's, it's a lot thicker and like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's not terrible. I don't know if, but. It has a really nice um, aftertaste, like, I don't know. It doesn't really taste much like cider, but there we go. <clears throat> All right. I've just, it's just occurred to me. I have this on here. I can't suck on the end. That's, that's a problem. Uh, what am I going to do? I was gonna maybe put this, the cheesecloth on the other end with a rubber band, but I couldn't find a rubber band. All right, you know what? We're not gonna worry about the cheesecloth right now. Maybe I'll stick it on once it's going. That sounds like a mess. All right, um, you can't see it, but I'm feeding the tube into the top and I'm trying to go around all the nasty foam. Oh, I got a bunch of it, that's fine. Ooh, this is like bubbly and kind of gross. Mm. All right. Well, that's better. Shoot. All right. I'm trying to get as much juice as I can here. No, did I mess it up? Yeah, I messed it up. I lost it. Oh, all right. Oh, well. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, like, there's just, there's already stuff floating all in it. Hmm. It's an interesting flavor. All right, and then it, I'm going to try the carbonation thing again, and then we don't get to try it for a week, which will probably be when I next check in with y'all. So until then, cheers. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Um... It's been exactly one week since we bottled this batch. 
here it is. This is our bottle of hopefully carbonated uh, hard apple cider. We're gonna try it. Um, and what I did off camera to this is I did add, I added honey. I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Okay, pr pray for me. All right. <laughs> okay, can you see this bubbling? It's going wild. All the bubbles. Um, all right. Here we go. This definitely turned out. We'll see if it turned out better. I'm trying it. It's happening. It's, um, it is pretty bubbly, and it's very dry. Um, but it, it does have, like, a cidery taste. And, like, it's as good, if not better, than anything you'd buy in the store. It's not as sweet as a lot of stuff in the store. Like, I like Angry Orchard and stuff. Um, this is not that sweet. But it's pretty darn good. But I would say try this. It's it's pretty fun to do. Most 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 of it, some of it maybe not as much, but almost all of it's pretty fun to do. And like, it is just makes me want to go make more. I have to wait like a year <laughs> till we have apples again. I go check the tree more, but um, absolutely recommend doing this. Um, and you know, people get fancy with it. All it did was juice apples from a tree, added a cup of sugar, and put it in a container. <laughs> and then waited. This one only went a week. All right, I will definitely be doing this again. So if you have the time, doesn't even take much time. I mean, it's a long process, but juicing the apples is the longest part. Um, you gotta do this. <laughs>